Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Bridget and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having an awesome day. So today's video is going to be something a little bit different. I had the idea for this a while back, but I decided, hey, now's the time. Let's go ahead and try it out. See what you guys think of this video. So today we're going to be giving three recommendations per light, medium, and dark skin tones, which palette I think would really complement your skin tone the most. Of course, you can wear whatever eyeshadow you want. I'm sure I wear the wrong eyeshadow sometimes. The wrong eyeshadows. You can wear whatever you want. I don't care. That's what my point is. You do you. I'm sure you can make anything look beautiful on you. But this is just things that I think would complement your skin tone really well. So without any further ado, let's jump into the video. Alright guys, before we get started, if you want to subscribe, I put a video every single day and I'd appreciate it. So, um, let's start off with light, then we'll go to medium and then dark skin tones, just because that's how foundation ranges usually go. So, let's start off with light skin tones. My first recommendation for light skin tones, like myself, is the Lorac California Dreaming Palette. I use this thing all the time because a lot of the transition shades and a lot of the base colors are super pale. This is like a pretty off-white shimmer. I feel like this is going to go over most people's lids if you are a paler skin tone. Also, a lot of these colors like this light pink and this light pink matte and these transition shades are pretty light. I think they look kind of like a little bit warm on my pale skin tone. But I feel like this is great for paler people in the lighter, fairer shades. Okay, so next I should palette for people with a lighter skin tone. This is the TARDIS Pro Amazonian Clay Palette. The original Amazonian Clay Palette. I don't know if there's another one now, but I feel like this has been out for a minute. It's a staple. I just think that so many of these shades right here... I wish this thing folded back because I don't know if you're seeing me or whatever. Um, this whole half of the palette, very, very light shadows. Like for me, I see a lot of varieties here for my skin tone because everything's going to show up pretty bright. Um, but for a darker skin tone or a medium skin tone, I feel like these could get kind of washed away and look kind of muddy. Like if you don't put a white base down or something, it's probably look kind of muddy with these transition shades. But for me, these are like a deep transition if I just build it up a little bit. Also, I feel like some of these shimmers just like, I don't, I don't know. I just feel like they're for lighter skin tones. Like this whole first row right here. They're a great base for me, but I know a lot of people and a lot of my friends that just wouldn't put this as their base. Okay, so third recommendation for fair people. This is the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Beauty Killer Palette. First of all, I think this palette is good for anybody because I think it's good quality. But I think that like this white, white base, unless you're putting it underneath your brow bone with a darker skin tone, most people are probably going to go towards more of an off white. This is kind of like a bone white. And I also feel like the shade of Princess is great on my lid, but I also see people like really have to put a white, white base down to make this color work and look pink on them. So I just feel like this is a really good transition blending crease shade for me. But some people might need more of a warm or a darker skin tone or a darker color to make it work on them. I just feel like a lot of these colors look amazing on dark skin tones though or any skin tone really. Like this purple and this gold, whew, they look good on everybody. But I just think some of these colors like the pink, that um, base, and this one, you know, kind of fit a lighter skin tone. You know, I honestly just feel like I'm going to get a lot of crappy comments on this video. But again, like wear whatever you want. I don't care. It's just like a fun recommendation. I did see this terrible thing on Instagram last night. I will leave the post up here from a girl I follow. Like this company saying that if you are darkest skin tone, you can't wear, they don't recommend you wear these colors at all. And I do not agree with that at all. I just, I think that's what inspired today's video is why I kind of decided to finally do this video is because people were telling you if you are of a darker complexion or you you have a darker skin tone in general, you can't wear certain colors and that's just not true. You can wear whatever the freak you want. You probably look stunning, but like it really just got me going. Like, why would you tell somebody you can't wear that? And then you're telling people with a lighter skin tone on their recommendations that they can wear anything they want and like, it shouldn't be equal. We're just people, whatever. Um, let's move on to medium skin tones now. That really got me worked up last night. Like when you're laying in bed and you see some drama and it kind of works you up a little bit. That's what happened to me. First recommendation for a medium skin tone. This is a Saharan Juvia's Place palette. I got mine used so it's kind of rough inside here but it's very pretty colors. They're kind of warm. Um, we have a lot of browns. They're not super super dark so these can still be a transition shade for you but you definitely want to build it up. I also think a lot of these pinks and these kind of orangey 
colors are really great on beautiful like slightly warm medium skin tones oh oh y'all rock these colors so well but if i put on a bright orange eyeshadow it just doesn't look the same it doesn't look as pretty and as fierce it just looks like ooh on me <laughs> but on y'all it looks so pretty and um i just think this is great even though this does have like a white base in it you're allowed to wear white and i just feel like it could be blended so well with one of these golds or one of these pinks or one of the oranges and i just think you could rock this palette next recommendation for a medium skin tone is the manny mua and makeup geek uh palette a lot of makeup geek palettes actually look like they're great for medium skin tones you can buy these refurbished on makeup geek site still i think i will check with that um, that's where I got this one. They have so many good colors in here. Like they have the like the oranges. These are kind of all similar to me, but they also have this gorgeous like duo chrome. It's green. Is it red? We don't know, and that's crazy to me. Shadow. I also think like the base is light, so it can be a light base, but I don't think it's like super white, so it's gonna come off as kind of chalky, which would be terrible. So I feel like this is just a really good palette, and these colors down here are super buildable, so you can kind of darken it up. You can also get really light-handed into the pan if you want to. I just feel like it'd really work beautifully. Okay, so next palette I recommend to everyone because when one of you guys bought it for me, I was, I just felt very blessed. And this is the Colored Rain Queen of Hearts palette. I just want to look, it's so pretty. So this is the palette. I am recommending it to a medium skin tone because I just think the nice warm colors in here aren't too light, aren't too dark. I think they're perfect for everybody, but medium skin tones can I don't, honestly wear what like everything and look great. But I just feel like some of these oranges and some of these pinks and even these browns right here are super great for the transition shade. And just look, just look at it. <laughs> it's the prettiest freaking palette. Oh my gosh. It's stunning. It's, if there was a model, like a runway for palettes, this would be on it. Like it's so beautiful. And it feels so like fancy. I feel fancy with it. <laughs> Okay, so first up for a deeper skin tone, we are recommending the Naked Heat Urban Decay Palettes. Oh my gosh, this palette is so good. Like, I know some people are kind of like over the warm eyeshadows, but hear me out. I'm still into it. Also, this is the first palette I picked out of all of these for like this video because I feel like this was perfect for a deeper skin tone. I feel like some of these reds are super kind of muted if you're not super warm skin tone. And if you do have a cooler skin tone, there's still a bunch of colors in here you can still use. Like these colors right here and this one as well. I feel like they're very nice. Also, you have the nice warmth. So if you want like a beautiful, warm, apricot kind of dark color, I think it looks good. I don't even know what I'm saying. I just really like the colors in here for a deeper skin tone. I am kind of in love. I love it myself, but again, everything looks super orange on me, but like the quality of the shadows is really good. Okay, so next up for a deeper skin tone is not actually a palette. Well, it's like a palette, but they're made out of single shadows. And this is by Suba Beauty. It is like a kind of indie brand. Not people, not too many people talk about it. And they have these most beautiful single shadows. And this pan size is huge. So let's put it up to like a really big pan size which is Jeffree Star's, they're huge pans. They're still like bigger and it's so much product in here. But I'm really recommending these shadows in particular because I think they're very pretty. I think they're very buildable, whereas they do work on darker skin tones, especially if you put a light base down, but you can definitely work them up to be something more. I think all of their shadows, single shadows, not just these would work on a darker skin tone. And they seem very beautiful, like even looking at them. And when I swatched them, they were stunning. So I definitely recommend these. Okay, next up is another palette that everyone loves, everyone wants to use. So I think on a darker skin tone, when I see this, oh, on Instagram, and people with a deeper skin tone are wearing this, it looks like the most gorgeous palette. And this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. It's a classic. It's a classic. It's a staple. Oh. So they do have a bunch of light bases and they also have this really pretty gold one, which I love. And all of these reds and browns can be worked up and deepened up so much to look good on every single skin tone. If you want like a light crease color, they have all of these oranges and a little bit of yellow there. I also just think that nobody really uses this shadow in the palette. I don't know why. I'm thinking about using it as a contour color personally. But I just feel like for a deeper skin tone, these browns and these reds and these oranges in here, they're everything. You can't say anything else except, yes, this looks beautiful on everybody, but for a deeper skin tone, I gag. 
Anyways, those are my recommendations for eyeshadow palettes per each skin tone. Let me know what your skin tone is and what's your favorite palette for it down below. I think my favorite eyeshadow palette for my skin tone is the California Dream Palette by The Rock because it's so simple and I can just run some color through and be done with the day. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Every skin tone is beautiful and I cannot wait for the future when everyone is included in everything, you know? I hate seeing eyeshadow palettes like the Lorac, like I think it's called the Breakfast Palette. And I'm sitting here thinking like, yeah, I'd be able to use it fine. But I don't think a lot of other people would be willing to use this. It would look kind of chalky on some people. And I, I like the light palettes. They look beautiful. But I just feel like if they're putting out that, they should also include some colors to help make that work for everyone you know anyways hope you guys enjoyed this video i will see you in the next one i put a video every single freaking day and i will see you later bye guys side note i forgot to mention necklace locks flux jewelry pokemon shirt from plato's closet in the men's section because the men's section of plato's closet has the best shirts